Welcome to the COBOL IT Learning Center. Getting started using the Remote System Explorer in the Developer Studio. In this module, we will show how to configure and use the Remote System Explorer in the Developer Studio. In these exercises, we will connect to a remote Linux machine. There, we will use the Linux installation of the COBOL IT Compiler Suite to compile, run, and debug our sample program. After these exercises, you will understand key concepts and understand how to use the Remote System Explorer in the Developer Studio. Let's get started. Prerequisites The COBOL IT Compiler Suite must be installed on your Linux server. The COBOL IT Compiler Suite requires that you have the GCC Compiler and GDB Debugger installed on your Linux server as well. The Developer Studio must be installed on your Windows machine. The sample program used in these exercises is included with the Developer Studio distribution. For further guidance, see the COBOL IT e-learning modules, Installing COBOL IT Developer Studio on Windows, Installing COBOL IT Compiler Suite on Linux and Getting Started with the COBOL IT Developer Studio on Windows. Let's begin with a review of some key concepts. Key Concepts The Remote System Explorer allows you to run your Developer Studio on Windows, and connect to a remote Linux or Unix server, where your COBOL IT Compiler Suite and COBOL Source files are installed. In this manner, you can compile, run, and debug your remotely located COBOL programs from your Windows workstation. Let's briefly review the exercises we have prepared. Overview From the remote Linux server, we will record the IP address. We will also record the username and password for our login to the remote machine. On the local Windows host, we will open the Remote System Explorer perspective. In the Remote System Explorer perspective, we will establish a connection to the remote Linux server using its IP address. Then, we will log into the remote machine. When we are connected to the remote machine, we will create a project. Then, we will compile, run and debug the sample COBOL program located on the remote Linux server. Let's go to our remote Linux server now, and get started. We'll begin by logging into the remote Linux server. Our username is COBOLIT. To get the IP address of our machine, we used the SU command to become a super user. Then, we ran the command ifconfig. We will use the INET address to connect to this remote Linux server from our Windows host. Now, let's return to our Windows host. This is the Developer Studio running on your Windows host. Let's do a quick review of our Window Preferences settings now. On the Preferences screen, we expanded the General option, and then expanded the Editors option. Then, we selected Text Editors. On the Text Editors screen, we selected Show Line Numbers. This is very useful, particularly when debugging. Next, we selected the Workspace option. On the Workspace screen, we deselected Build Automatically, and selected the Refresh, and Save Automatically functions. Next, we selected the Run Debug option. We expanded the Run Debug option, and selected Perspectives. For the option titled Open the associated perspective when launching, we've selected Always. This will cause the debugger perspective to open when a debug operation is performed. This completes the workspace configuration. To save settings, click on the Apply button. Then, click OK to return to the Developer Studio. Now, let's return to the Developer Studio and open the Remote System perspective. Opening the Remote System Explorer, click on Window on the main menu bar, and select Open Perspective from the drop-down menu. 
select other from the subsequent drop down menu, and then select Remote System Explorer from the Open Perspective window. Click the OK button to close the Open Perspective window. Let's take a look at the Remote System Explorer now. This is the Remote System Explorer. Next, we will create a new connection. Creating a new connection. To open the new connection wizard, click on the Define Connection button on the Remote System toolbar. In the Select Remote System Type window, select SSH only. On the Remote SSH only system connection window, enter the IP address from your Linux server in the host name and connection name entry fields. Click on the Finish button to return to the Remote System Explorer. Next, we will log into the remote Linux server. Log into the Linux server. Click on My Home, and then select the arrow to the left to expand the My Home entry. This will cause the password screen to be displayed. Enter your user ID and password, and click OK. With your login complete, you will see the expanded directory structures under My Home. This is the expanded directory structure on the remote Linux server. Now, let's create a new project and use the Developer Studio to develop, compile, run, and debug on our Linux server. To create a new project select File from the main menu bar. Select New from the drop-down menu, and Project from the subsequent drop-down menu. This will open the new project window. On the new project windows, Select COBOL project, and then click on the next button to continue. On the create a COBOL project screen, we have entered project 1 as our project name. Then, we selected create project at existing location. For our host, we clicked on the drop down arrow, and selected our remote location. Then, for the directory, entry, we clicked on the browse button and selected the workspace folder in our My Home area. Click on the Finish button to exit the new project wizard. After clicking on the Finish button, a window pops up to say that the new project is associated with the Developer Studio Perspective. Click on the Yes button to open the Developer Studio Perspective. You are now returned to the Developer Studio. You can see that Project 1 refers to a remote project since it includes the remote server IP address. Now, what we need to do is set the project properties. Project Properties Right click on the project name in the Navigator window, and select Properties from the drop down window. This will open the Properties screen. On the Properties Windows, select COBOL Properties. On the COBOL Properties Windows, select Enable Source Settings to see the interface for setting project properties and compiler flags. Notice the setup script. It is preset to the COBOL IT setup script on the Linux server. On the Link tab, we have set the dash o compiler flag to place output files into the object directory. On the Debug Optimize tab, we have selected the dash G compiler flag. This is required by the debugger. Click the OK button to return to save your settings and return to the Developer Studio. Now, let's create a run configuration. To create a run configuration, select envcheck.cbl in the Navigator window by clicking on it. Then, Right click on envcheck.cbl to see a drop down menu. Select run as from the drop down menu, and run configuration from the subsequent drop down menu. This will open the run configuration wizard. On the run configuration screen, select COBOL program in the panel on the left. Then, click on the new launch configuration toolbar button. This will create a new run configuration. On the main tab, 
name the configuration envcheck.cbl. The project and program values are pre-filled with project1 and envcheck.cbl. Now let's look at the runtime tab. On the runtime tab, you should not have to make any changes. The runtime tab sets the name of your runtime and debugger, as well as scripts that should be run before the run or debug command is launched. Let's proceed to the environment tab. On the environment tab, we set the environment variables required by the remote compiler. Set cob library path to include your object folder. Click apply to accept your changes. Click close to return to the developer studio. Now, let's compile our sample program. Click on project on the main menu, and select clean from the drop down menu. On the clean window, keep the defaults. Click OK to build the project. After the build completes, let's take a look at the compiler console, and see what happened. On the compiler console view, we can see the command line that has been constructed. The compiled object has an SO extension and is placed in the object folder. Now, let's run the program. To run the sample program, click on the run button on the toolbar. You will see the output displayed in a terminal view. Now, let's run the program in debug. To run the sample program in debug, click on the debug button on the toolbar. This will open the program in the debugger perspective. This is our sample program running in the COBOL IT debugger. We have detached our terminal windows, where the display will appear. Now, we will set a breakpoint on line 88, so that we can pause on the final stop run statement. Let's run to our breakpoint now. We have run to the final statement. The variable view contains the updated values of our environment variables. The terminal window contains the final display. Click on the terminate button to terminate the debugging session. Let's proceed to our summary now. Summary. In this module, we configured our workspace and our project for use with the Remote System Explorer in the Developer Studio. We connected to a remote Linux server, and compiled, ran, and debugged remotely located source code in a project. You are now ready to get started using the Remote System Explorer. For more detailed information, and the very latest reference documentation, please visit the doc folder under your COBOL IT home directory. We encourage you to continue using the COBOL IT online training program. Thank you.